my brown tooth anchor reporter, Megan Grebner, just ahead of Commodity Classic at BASS Science Behind event with us is Greg Kruger. Today we're going to talk a little digital farming and weed control. So let's start first and talk a little bit about some of the exciting digital tools uh, that BASF offers. Yes, thanks for having me. That, that's a, a great place to start. Uh, and, uh, for me, uh, number one uh, and the nearest and dearest to my heart is the one that we've had a heavy focus on here today, and that's the smart sprayer technology. And we've got now a tool that's coming to give us uh, uh, precision weed control. So we can actually go out and target the weeds with the right product at the right rate at the right uh, dose at the right time. And so uh, we're, we're getting to a level of precision that we've never seen in ag before. When we look at this, when it comes to weed control and incorporating these types of smart spraying technology, how important is it to have them available to us so we can preserve that technology for years to come? So uh, again, uh, what I would tell everybody, like I did today at, at the very end of uh, uh, the presentation I gave, is when we talk about weed management, it's about pulling all the pieces together. Uh, smart sprayer is another tool in the toolbox, but we've got that chemistry piece, we've got the hardware piece, uh, we've got the, the uh, agronomic piece, so uh, how do I approach weed control uh, for my system? So what I do in, in Nebraska might be different than what uh, I do in, in Ohio on the family farm, and it might be very different when I get down in Mississippi or, or, or Arkansas into that delta, because every system's a little bit different. So it's about having a tool in the toolbox that gives me greater flexibility in how I uh, make that application. When you look at the challenges that weed pressure and uh, the, those difficult and tough to control weeds face on farmers, if you had to rank, where do you have weed control and, and smart uh, farming practices like the smart sprayer in, in the, the like, in the importance of the future of agriculture. So, so I think the, uh, those are both key uh, cornerstones. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's about bringing all the pieces together uh, using, you know, uh, I give the example, my dad is uh, collected uh, yield data off the farm for 20 years. But what do we take? What do we do with that yield data? How do we use that? And now, uh, when we think about smart sprayer, it's the same thing. We're going to be collecting weed maps and uh, 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 weed application maps. And how do we use that data to inform future decisions? And I think that's the exciting piece of where we're where we're headed with that. Talk to me a little bit about um, the the pipeline of technology and all of this data. How do farmers use it in the future? So, uh, part of our vision uh, around that is trying to automate that as much as possible. Possible. Uh, farmers have a lot of decisions to make over the course of a season and what we really like to do is create a or what we're working towards is creating a tool that will help automate some of those decisions so uh, taking some of the decisions in terms of, uh, of, of what and when and how to apply and then and, and automating those decisions weed management and weed control has changed a lot since you and I were probably kids in the 80s. Yes, uh, I, I, I don't envision my son uh, carrying a corn knife around uh, hacking out weeds. Uh, with these new tools, uh, hopefully uh, that's the experience that he'll uh, he'll miss that I, I got growing up. If folks want to find out more information about these digital farming tools and smart spring, what's the best place for them? Where's the best place for them to start? Yes, uh, so on BASF's website, uh, under Zarbio, there is all kinds of information that's available to them. Uh, uh, quick uh, trip there. Uh, there's also some really cool videos that we have on YouTube. So uh, go check out the, the, the Smart Sprayer uh, videos on YouTube and uh, you'll get to see the, the, the latest and greatest of what we've got available. Greg, thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure. Uh, thank you for having me. With Greg Kruger, I'm Megan Grebner, Brownfield Ag News.